Good morning and welcome to day five. We are um, at the grocery store at No Frills. Yep. It's so windy. Look at the snow drifts on the road. It's crazy. I actually don't know if it's picking up on camera. <laughs> Hi there guys. We're back home now. After I last saw you, I went out and saw my mom. She was getting ready to put up her tree. Uh, she's not decorating it yet. She's waiting until Anna comes home so Anna can help her decorate it. So that's pretty cute. But um, I wanted to go out and see her have a little visit. Now we're home. We're getting ready to have dinner. We're going to make tacos. Ed's going to make them. So um, when he's doing that, I'll take you out and we can visit with him and see how it's going. And I can show you my favorite sauce. And maybe someone out there knows what it is. Because I don't. <laughs> One thing I did want to tell you guys, though, is when I was driving out to see my mom, when I was still in town, actually, not on the highway or anything, almost at eye level outside of the passenger seat window, I looked over and there was a crow. Okay carrying a small rabbit <laughs> in his little talons. The rabbit was struggling and the crow was just trying to fly. It was, I've never seen anything like it in real life. It was crazy. The circle of life, I suppose. But the poor little bunny, he was just, he looked alarmed. Well, we're up today. We got some satsumas or mandarins and they're like, they have the leaves on them and everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they would have had a leaf on them. leaf. But they're so good. So here's the sauce I was talking about. On the label it says Mexican green sauce. And I know in my heart that's not the, that's not the real name. Now you may be thinking, well maybe it's Salsa Verde. Yeah, I originally thought it was just Salsa Verde. Yeah, I thought that as well. But it isn't because... First of all, it's slightly different ingredients, and second of all, it doesn't have the consistency of salsa. Well, still though, uh, salsa just means sauce. Right. Uh, this is just tomatillos, jalapenos. I really think that this is salsa verde. Maybe. I really, really think it is, honey. But the ones at the store look thicker, the ones that called themselves that. Anyway, you let us know. If anyone knows what this is, either confirm that it's just salsa verde, or... Tell us what it is. Salsa verde. You can do this shit. I, that's what I said. So. so over here we've got the papa tree plugged in. Over here is where some of the wrapped presents are hiding. And oops, not here, but underneath. That's today's video. I've just started editing for, to well, for tomorrow's video. Spoilers. <laughs> Okay, so we've just come now with dinner. We're gonna watch everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, we'll pop in afterwards to let you know our thoughts. I hope it's a better Christmas movie than <laughs> that last thing we watched. Well, it's not a Christmas movie, so. Gotta be a better Christmas movie than yeah, Diary. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so we're sitting here now with our dinner. We got our a glass of wine. This is my our good friend Stephen um, wine glass that I had made for one for me and one for my friend Krista last year for Christmas. It's got Stephen King on the front. And it's a little inside joke because anytime we talk about him, we refer to him as our good friend Stephen at this point because we're always talking about him. <laughs> okay, hi there guys. It is later now. It's about 8.30. Um, we started everywhere, everything everywhere all at once, but we didn't get to finish it. It got super tired, so he went on to bed. So we'll finish that tomorrow. So our reaction to that movie will be in tomorrow's vlog. But honestly, so far, so good. Like, it's it's really different, but it's really, like, it's different in a way that I'm enjoying, and I can't wait to see how it's going to end. Also got a couple of new Christmas cards to add to Kim's. Love it. Okay. Hello. Once again, fiddling with the tripod. Okay. <clears throat> I thought I would come now and end this vlog. It's... Around 10.30 and uh, I've just been reading and writing, you know, all those types of things. Um, but I've had a great evening and so I just wanted to come and say goodnight to you guys. 
Um, and I also wanted to take a minute because all throughout today I've been thinking about you guys. And not just the current you guys, but all the past you guys is as well. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, I know when you, you know, watch YouTubers videos and comment on them, maybe sometimes it feels like they don't notice or appreciate, but I wanted to tell you guys that we really do. Every single time one of you comment on one of my videos, um, I notice and I know you and I feel like we're friends. As I've mentioned in many other videos, sitting here feels like talking to a friend, which it truly, truly does. Um, and earlier today I was thinking about how there are so many people that I've met on YouTube over the years. I've been on here since 2016. Um, over the years that have come and gone and I still think about them <laughs> um, like there was this girl Justine years ago probably like 2017 2018 and she made videos and I loved her videos and I watched them and she watched mine and we we had a friendship like we we always commented on each other's videos we exchanged um, we sent each other packages and then one day I guess she was just done with YouTube. She deleted her channel and then she was just gone. And I still think about her, wonder how she's doing, um, why she left and uh, yeah I just I, I think about her from time to time and just wish her well and hope she's doing well. And um, even apart from that, the very first person, the very first person that ever commented on one of my videos is a girl named Manpreet and her and I are Facebook friends now. She she just had a baby, she's recently married in the past couple of years and I will always remember her. Always. I, I made, I had no subscribers. Like the only people subscribed to my channel at this point were like my husband and my mom and my sister pretty much. And then she subscribed and she started commenting. I will remember her for the rest of my life. She just warmed my heart. And I'm so glad that we're like friends on Facebook and can keep up with each other's lives. We don't talk a lot or anything, but she will always, always have the softest, warmest spot in my heart just because of the enthusiasm and kindness she showed me. And then there's people, there's so many people that I'm still YouTube friends with today that I became friends with in the first year or two. Like Andrea, Je suis Just Moi, was her original channel name. And I think she's changed it to her author name because in the time I've known her, she's released like six books or something crazy. Just absolutely incredible artistic output. Um, and I keep in touch with her and we became friends very early on. Um, and there's so, there's so many of you. I, I don't want to try to name you because I know I will forget so many people, but like Frances, Happiness Sparkles, she's been around for ages. Kathy, at Kathy's Beauty Care Chats, she's been around for ages. <laughs> and I just, I love you guys so much, like truly, that if you were to disappear, and you think, oh, no one will notice, I will notice. And I guarantee it's the same for other small creators. When you are a regular commenter, like even if you're a silent viewer, that's amazing. Don't let me discount that because I'm a silent viewer on a lot of people's channels, uh, mainly because I watch on the TV and so I don't, I don't have a way to comment. And then later when I do have a device, I forget to go and comment. So I get being a silent viewer. I'm that for a lot of people. Um, and I love you guys too. <laughs> but if you're someone that comments, just know we see you and we, we absolutely appreciate you. Whether you comment every video, whether you comment every other video, whether you pop in every few months to say hi, you're seen and you're appreciated. And um, that's just, just know that because I love y'all so much. <laughs> And um, I just know other small creators feel the same. And if you're watching this and you are another small creator, feel free to comment down below and back me up here because it's very, very true. 
Anyway, so today, as you saw earlier, I got to see my mom. That was great. We had dinner. It was delicious. We watched most of everything everywhere all at once. Can't wait to talk about that. I saw on another vlog earlier, I got a comment from my friend Denise um, that she wants me to watch The Holiday on Netflix and react to that. She ended the comment or the second comment with good luck. So <laughs> I have a feeling she's expecting a uh, negative review from that one. So we'll definitely be watching that. And I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. But yeah, I guess other than that, there's not really a whole lot to report. It was another fairly quiet day, but we loved it. And uh, I love the weekends when Ed's home and we can just do whatever. Anyway, off to a new start on a new week. But that just means we're getting closer to the day when Anna comes home. And I can't wait to see her. I cannot wait. Um, I talk to her. We talk a lot, usually once or twice a day. And uh, today was one of those twice a day talking days and I just I can't wait to, to see her but she's super busy right now it's the end of the year they've got a lot of things going on so it's great like even on the weekends she's just she's busy so that's good that's good for her stay busy and uh, she's gonna declare her major soon and that's so exciting so she's taking she's um, taking a music course um, it's like a, a jazz and contemporary music program at the university and now she's going to be declaring her major and I think she's going to be declaring composition as her major which is just perfect for her. She's so talented and writing songs is something she's been interested in for the past few years and uh, I always love seeing what she comes up with and so that feels like the right path for her to take and she'll just get to learn more and do more and I, I can't wait to to see what to see what the future holds for her actually she sent me the other day a video of um, a performance she recently did with um, a band of kids at the school I would put it I would upload it <laughs> in this video if I could but it, they perform to very popular copy written songs from the past they perform uh while my guitar gently weeps by the beatles and what's going on by marvin gay it's just so good she's just she looks so relaxed and so comfortable on stage she's a natural which isn't surprising because i come from a family of natural musicians so but yeah i think i'm gonna end that here for now. I've got my book review for um, Christmas Cabernet and Chaos coming up soon. I don't know if it will be tomorrow. I hope it is because that's release day. That'll be the perfect time to uh, post the review. If not, it, it will be the day after. So we'll, we'll see how much progress I make tonight. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me know in the comments down below what you did this weekend. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.